Hello and welcome to Digital Art Junkie. My name is Anna and I'm a professional Procreate artist and today I'm going to teach you how to do that super cool hourglass that you just saw. If you are a beginner, you are in the right place. You can use any Procreate brushes to do this tutorial, but you'll have a much easier time using the same brushes that I used, which are from my mini brush set, and they are completely free, so I will link those below. Make sure you download them and enjoy this video. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your layers by tapping the two squares in the top right. Click your background color layer and choose a medium gray. Open up your brushes and choose your sketch brush. Then select the color white. Okay, so now we're going to start to draw the top half of our hourglass. Don't worry about making mistakes here. This layer is not going to end up in the final. You're just setting the foundation for what you're going to do with your outline. Try to draw something that looks along the lines of a triangle with rounded edges. It should end up looking something like an upside down soup dumpling. So you can continue to the next step if you want, but if you feel like yours is a little uneven like mine, then you can select the transform tool, that little mouse in the top left, select warp, and then just start to move the edges around until you have something you like. Open up your layers, swipe left, and click duplicate. Click your transform tool and select flip vertical. Then drag that layer up until the two halves connect. Make sure your warp setting is not selected. Once that's done, then you can select Warp and start to fix any imperfections. Open up your Layers panel and merge the two by pinching them together. Then use your sketch brush to round out the two points where the layers meet. This is where you can make any last changes you want to before we move into the outline. Now we're going to lower the opacity of our sketch. Open up your layers, click N, and lower the opacity meter to around 60%. Then click the plus on the top right to make a new layer and select your outline brush. Still using the color white and working in our new layer, we're just going to simply trace over our sketch to create an outline. Make sure your brush is at around 6% for its size. Zoom in on your canvas by pinching and pulling your two fingers apart. This is going to make it a lot easier to get a clean outline. Also make sure that you don't have any breaks in your line. You want the entire outline to connect. Just like you did in your sketch, you can correct any wonkiness by selecting your transform tool and clicking warp. Once you're happy with your outline, hide your sketch layer by deselecting the box on the right of the layer. Then tap your outline and select reference. Open up a new layer underneath your reference layer. Hold your finger down on the canvas to select the gray we used for the background. Drag and drop the color swatch at the top right corner into your hourglass. As you can see, the color filled in the hourglass that we outlined in our reference layer. But it's done in the new layer so the outline is unaffected. Now we're going to create a new layer on top of that solid hourglass, tap it, and select Clipping Mask. Then working in our new layer, we're going to select our illustration brush and choose the color white. Change the brush size to about 10%. Now with light brush strokes, we are going to start to fill in the outline of this hourglass. Don't press down too hard because we want the brush strokes to be pretty transparent. The closer to the edges, you can press down a little harder to get a more opaque look and as the closer you get to the inside, the lighter you want to touch. My strokes are going from up to down when working in the top layer of the hourglass and from down to up when working on the bottom. When the edges are done, create a horizontal opaque line on the top half of the hourglass. Create some more opaque spots on areas with reflection. I'm choosing the top and bottom left corners here. Open up your layers and hide your outline layer. Now continue to run your brush along the edges of the hourglass. Again, the key here is to have opaque lines towards the edges and translucent lines towards the center. When you're satisfied with the edges, increase your brush size and very lightly run your brush around the corners to create some large blocks of translucent white. 
Keep in mind that this is not supposed to look perfect. It's gonna start to look more realistic when we add things on the inside. So don't get discouraged if it doesn't look exactly like what you're seeing on the screen. When you're satisfied with your hourglass, create a new layer on top of your white brush strokes. Tap it and select clipping mask. Now make sure you're working in your new layer and select the color black. Then take your brush and press down hard running across the entire edge of the hourglass. This does not have to be perfect at all, just create a strong black line. Open up your layers and tap the N by that black outline. Then scroll down and select Soft Light. Now we're going to group these layers together. Open up your layers panel and swipe to the right along each layer. You can leave out that hidden sketch layer. Then select Group at the top right. Create a new layer above your hourglass group. Then select your sketch brush and choose the color black. Start to sketch an uneven triangle along the bottom half of the hourglass. Then fill in the background with more uneven triangles going behind that first triangle. We're creating like a sand mountain range here. As we keep going, you're going to see that we're going to follow the same steps that we did when creating the hourglass. Sketch, outline, fill, and clipping mask. Pick a mountain and draw an S from the top point all the way to the bottom of the mountain. I'm going to do this to two of my mountains. Open up a new layer on top of your sketch. Select your outline brush and choose a red shade. I'm going to choose this bright red. Open up your sketch layer and lower the opacity by clicking N and moving the scale. Now, open up your hourglass group, select your reference layer, and deselect reference. As we start adding more layers, we want to make sure we're working in the correct one. So make sure you select that empty layer at the top. If you're ever unsure of which layer is which, simply select and deselect the box on the right to see which layer is affected. Zoom into your sketch and outline the left side of the S on your biggest triangle. Make sure that the lines connect outside of the hourglass and drag and drop your color into the outline to fill it. Repeat this step with the other mountain that has an S on your drawing. Create a new layer and select a dark red color. In your new layer, outline the right side of the S and then fill it. It doesn't matter how far outside the hourglass edge your lines go, just make sure that they do go outside the edge. Repeat the step with the other mountain. Finally, create a new layer and select a medium red that's in between the two shades that you currently have on the hourglass. Then outline the remaining triangles and fill them in. Select your layer with your darkest shade of red. Create a new layer above it, tap it, and select Clipping Mask. Then open up your brush library and select your blend brush. Choose the darkest shade of red yet. You want it to be darker than your darkest layer. Put your blend brush at around 8%. Then very softly move your brush in a circular motion around the S. The farther you get away from the edge of that S, the less pressure you want to put on your pencil. Hold your finger down on that bright red color to select it and just draw a soft line towards the edge of the mountain. Next, open up your layers and select the brightest mountain layer. Create a new layer, tap it and select clipping mask. Now select a dark color. Gently move your brush in a circular motion working from the outside in.
You're just creating a little bit of depth here. Don't overdo it. Follow the same technique of using a clipping mask with your final medium colored layer. Then create some shadow behind the other mountains to create a little bit of separation. Here I'm staying close to the edge of my biggest mountains just to create a little more separation. Now let's group these mountain layers together. Open up your layers and swipe to the right along all of your red layers. Then select group. Make sure you deselect the layer that has the sketch of your mountains. Minimize the group and tap it once. Then select flatten. This is gonna turn it all into one layer. Select the arrow to the right of your hourglass group to drop down the layers. Press and hold on your red layer. Then drag it all the way until it's just above your solid hourglass layer and below your white detailed layer. It's gonna automatically turn into a clipping mask. Minimize your hourglass group and create a new layer on top. Select a medium red color and choose your outline brush. Draw a circle while pressing and holding the tip of your pencil onto the canvas. Don't lift your pencil. After a second, Procreate will register the shape as a quick shape, but keep pressing your pencil down. Take your free hand and hold down on the screen with one finger. Lift your pen first and then your hand. Now you have a perfect circle. Go ahead and fill it in. Click your transform tool and drag the circle into the middle of the top half of the hourglass. Create a new layer on top of your circle, tap it once and select clipping mask. Open up your brush library and select your illustration brush. Change the size to about six or 7%. Then choose a dark red color. Using that dark shade, create a C-like motion on the left side of the circle, then select a bright red and fill in the top right portion. This does not have to look perfect at all. Click the magic wand button in the top left corner to open your adjustments panel. Tap liquify. Then select the crystals effect on the bottom toolbar. Run your pencil across the circle until you have the texture that you like. Open up your layers and merge your clipping mask and your circle by pinching the two layers together. Swipe to the left along that layer and select duplicate. Open up your transform tool and make sure you're working in the uniform setting. Drag the top left corner down and then move your tiny planet to the edge of the big planet. Merge your two planets by pinching them together. Then open up your hourglass group, hold down on the planets and drag them until they're directly above your mountains. Create a layer above your hourglass group. Then select your outline brush and select the color white. Start at about a size six and then start dotting stars along the outside of your planet. I'm gonna gradually change the size of these stars, changing between about 3%, 6%, and 8%. I'm gonna choose about two spots in this little sky to dot some pretty decent sized stars and I'll go all the way up to about a size 13%. Change your brush size to about 3% and on those big stars, you're gonna add a plus sign on top of them. Open up your brush library and select your blend tool and lower the size all the way down to 1%. Now just create a very slight halo around the two big stars. All right, we are almost done. Open up your layers and create a new layer above your planets. Select a bright red color and choose your illustration brush. Put your brush size at 7%. Pressing down lightly at the top and harder as you get to the bottom, draw a straight line in the middle of your hourglass. Open up your layers and select that solid hourglass layer. Open up your adjustments panel and click Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. Drag the brightness scale down just a little bit until it's a shade darker than the background. Open up your layers and click on that black hourglass outline. 
Create a layer directly above that. Tap the new layer and select Clipping Mask. Select your Noise Texture Brush and put the size at 30%. Then select the color white. Gently run your brush along the top edge of your hourglass and the top corners. Repeat this step with the bottom. Now gently fill in the inside of the hourglass. Make sure not to press down too hard. Open the layer, tap the N, and select Screen. Lower that opacity scale till it's about 40%, and this will vary depending on how opaque you made it when you drew it. All right, last little section, you're doing great. Open up your layers and minimize your hourglass group. Now open up a layer underneath that group. Select your noise texture brush and make the color black. Choose 33% for the size and start filling in your background. You want the bottom half to be very dark and opaque and the top half to be lighter. This means you're gonna press down hard on the bottom and lighten up your brush strokes as you get to the top. Don't worry if it looks crazy, mine also looks crazy. Open your adjustments panel and select Gaussian Blur. Drag your pencil from left to right to control how blurred you want your background. The farther right your pencil goes, the more blurred your background will get. I'm gonna leave mine at around 8% to get a little bit of the grain showing, but you choose whatever you think is best. Now lower the opacity of that layer. I'm gonna lower mine to about 70%. All right, I lied, this is actually the last step. So create a layer above your background and then select your illustration brush. Make your brush at a size 8% and then zoom in to the bottom half of your hourglass. Now simply just trace the edge of that bottom part of the hourglass and just create a little stand for your hourglass. Round out those two bottom corners. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you found it helpful. Comment below if you had any questions along the way and I'm gonna be posting stuff like this a lot more. So keep an eye out for me. Make sure you click subscribe and thanks again for watching.